There is a tug of war over how to fight the spread of COVID-19 in our state of Georgia and is entering a new round. Today, Governor Brian Kemp laying out why he's fighting Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms from making moves of her own. He argues there are two battles, keeping people healthy and keeping people working. But when you have those same politicians that then start deploying actions that want to shut our economy down and destroy our local communities and our local businesses. I mean, I'm just not going to stand for that. We have to do we have to fight two battles for the lives and the livelihoods of our citizens. This comes as the community spread of the virus moves all throughout the state. The State Department of Health reports cases are growing in the city, the suburbs and even rural areas. And we've been here before. It is the same spot Georgia was in when Governor Kemp rolled out shelter in place orders three months ago tonight. The Georgia Restaurant Association is thanking Governor Kemp for clearing up confusion for restaurant owners. We kick off our live team coverage tonight with Hope Ford. Now Hope, the CEO of the group wants a clear plan. Yeah, that's right. The, the governor's lawsuit against Ke Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms says in it that when she uh, issued an exec executive order rolling back the city to phase one, it created confusion among business owners. Now, although uh, uh, Mayor Bottoms said her own order was only a recommendation, the governor's lawsuit says some restaurants did close their doors. Now, the Georgia Restaurant Association tells me all they want is consistency statewide about what they're supposed to do without universal standards. The CEO of the association says it hurts businesses and leaves guests unsure if they can go out to eat. Now, the CEO, Karen Brimmer, she says that different municipal orders across the state left small business owners scared about keeping their restaurants running. I spoke to people that were in tears because they're just starting to get their restaurants back up to 50% of what they were doing a year ago. And then all of a sudden they're, they're being told they have to close again, asking us if, what, what they were supposed to, you know, which was, what, what was correct, which one. And Brimmer says the association supports Governor Kemp's order. And now restaurants of employees are required to wear a mask. And Brimmer says the, that they recommend that everyone wear a mask inside the building and what, when they're entering and leaving that restaurant. All right, Hope clearing it all up for us tonight. Thank you so much.